Hi everyone, welcome to the first day of Vlogmas. I am currently, I've just come back from taking Frank on a walk and I did record an intro this morning but I ended up just waffling for about five minutes and I thought I'm never going to be editing, be able to edit that down and I was just like no one has got five minutes to listen to me waffle on so I thought I'd re-record it. Um, so yes, yeah, so that is what I'm doing. I'm currently in the kitchen dining room, which I have decided I'm gonna show you later, but currently it's a bit of a mess. Like, I don't know if you can see, but like over here, there's just like a lot of shit in here. So I'm gonna basically tidy the whole house. And then I think today's plan to make my first day a little bit more interesting is to do like a house tour reveal of the kitchen kind of thing. So that is my aim anyways. So yeah, so today's vlogmas, I can't believe it. Like, I don't want to sound like one of those, you know, those Twitter accounts where like the dolphin is like the profile picture, like those basic white girl accounts. I mean, even though I am a basic white girl and I basically like and retweet those tweets all the time, I don't want to sound too much one like, like one. But yeah, I literally cannot believe that it is December. Like, that is insane. But yeah, I am vlogging, fingers crossed, every day. I've already thought though, I don't know if this is gonna happen every day because I have got a trip to Germany to go see my sister in the middle of December and my laptop doesn't have a lot of space on it to edit. So I don't know if realistically I'm gonna be able to edit every day, but we will cross that bridge when we get to it. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be vlogging every day. Also, I'm gonna be blogging every day as well. There's gonna be a new Christmas themed blog post on my blog every single day at 8 a.m. So you guys are gonna be sick to death for me by Christmas. You'll be like, go away. And I'll be like, okay, cool. Um, so yeah, so yeah, so I've already done my advent calendar, which I will in part now. So it looks like I've done it afterwards, some sneaky editing. But, um, so um, yeah, I'm gonna leave you now. I'm gonna get on with some more work and then I'm gonna tidy up the house. And then I think I'll do a bit of a tour and we'll go from there. Unless something really interesting happens in the meantime, but I highly doubt it. <laughs> And it is time to open my advent calendar and number one is here. So I think I'm gonna put the camera down a second because as I found out last year, I am not very good at opening um, advent calendars with one hand. <laughs> right, I'm gonna open this and then I will show you what okay, it is. here we go. So I think it's a little reindeer. Can't quite tell. And it says it's the Christmas countdown, so yeah. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> right, so change of plan. I thought we could do something slightly interesting. Um, the bar cart has been in the living room where that gap has been, <laughs> um, where that gap is for the past, God, two months whilst we've been getting the kitchen done. Anyways, that is where I'm planning on putting the Christmas tree. So I thought I probably should make some room for it, the Christmas tree. So I thought I'd bring this through into here because we are pretty much finished in this kitchen now. Like there is a few bits and bobs like up here that need to be like polished and like repainted. But I literally started to vlog and Frank comes through to have a look at what I'm doing and there's a bloody squirrel on the back fence just sitting there. So now he's going absolutely insane. Like, can you see him? My life is a dog owner. Right, so what I was saying was this was in the living room for the past two months whilst we're getting the kitchen done. And I thought I'd bring it back through. Like, can you, like, Frank's just whistling on. Um, and what I thought I'd do is, I'm gonna clean it all so it's a bit dusty and reorganize it because I've got a few new additions and then I could like show a before and after. All right, I've just finished doing the bar cart and it probably doesn't look that different, but I've taken away some of the alcohol and putting that in some of the cupboards in the kitchen so there was kind of like a bit more order. I've put these new glasses that I've got from Next. How cute are those? They all say like fizz and pop and that kind of thing. And then I've got some glasses here that I got last year from Asda, a H&M candle which I bought like two years ago. And then finally under here some straws and this little like movie board thing um and then yeah and then I put some fairy lights around it and then I remembered that I bought this massive um like cinema light box and I was going to put it in the living room but it's not really ideal for the living room so what I thought is I'm going to ask Henry to do this for me we could hang it like here and I've put eat drink and be merry and what I thought I might do is I'll hang it here like above the bar cart and then change the quotes to like Christmassy quotes, but I thought this was a good bar quote, like a bar cart quote. That's a very hard thing to say. Um, so yeah, so I've done that, and I think that looks quite cute. I think it would look really cute once that is hanging up. Like imagine that 
there. So I think that looks really nice. Some fairy lights to make it festive. So we're getting there. We are getting there. So I'm just making some lunch. I'm going to show you. Um, oh, I'm having a really nutritional, healthy lunch. Like, ignore all this mess. I'm having, this is literally my favourite lunch right now. This is hash browns with corn chicken dippers and I'm going to heat up some beans. And I'm not even joking, it is like my favourite lunch and dinner right now. Like, yes, I'm 25, but in my opinion, you cannot be chicken nuggets, or fake chicken nuggets, chips, or hash browns and beans. It's like the best meal. And I know it's not very nutritional, but whatever, it's winter. I don't really okay, so earlier I said that I was tidying up the kitchen and I was going to give you a bit of a kitchen sneak peek reveal and we're just about to go out to B&Q and I thought by the time we come back we're probably gonna be pretty hungry so I thought now would be the best time to do it rather than wait until we come back and probably be a little bit hungry because I finally finished tidying and here we go this is our new kitchen so there's still some bits that need to be finished um but this is pretty much what it looks like yeah so this is it I'm gonna be doing a more thorough <laughs> I'm going to be doing a more thorough like kitchen tour um, that will be coming up soon I'm not sure when but that will be when everything's fully finished but I just thought I'd kind of show you a bit of a sneak peek because obviously I'm going to be vlogging in here and we need to get new table and chairs obviously but yeah this is what it looks like you're going to show them your room Frank come on in, Frank you're going to show them your room yeah and then through here is the utility I think I vlogged this on my first when we moved in, it's a bit of a mess because we're kind of just using it as a bit of a dumping ground. But yeah, this is what the utility looks like. And this is going to be Frank's room eventually. But at the moment, it's just a little bit of a, a work in progress. But we've got this dog wallpaper for Frank, which we thought was very cute. And there's a little radiator. And hopefully, he will love his room. We need to get blinds, a proper door, secure the garage door, that kind of thing. But hopefully he'll really really love it um but yeah it's a bit of a mess right now because obviously it's a work in progress but pretty much it's a room so that's good so yeah so here we go this is the kitchen the marble worktop it's everything i dreamt of and more um and then yeah that's all my stuff around there that i'm taking for blog photos and yeah this is what it looks like so yeah so i just thought i would show it very quickly and then, like I said, I'm going to be doing a more in-depth um, tour soon. But I just wanted to show you. And I'll do like before and after so you can see what it looks like. But we're finally getting there. This has been in progress for like... Since September. I think middle of September is when Hen started working on the kitchen. And we're now in December. But we are pretty much on the end... Home the home straight. We just need to get dining table and chairs. I think there's a couple of like paint work. We need to, we're going to be in queue to get some filler because there's a couple of holes. And then we're going to take all the plastic off the cupboards. I used to get a splash back. And then we're literally done, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So we're always there. But yeah, we're just going to go to B&Q. And um, yeah. Oh, and I forgot to show you the bar stools. Because we've got a breakfast bar. And let me just show you them. Excuse me, Frank. Just wash out the way. So yeah, so we've got these. Which are very cold in the morning, I have found. And then let me just show you like something really cool. So this looks like just a silver thing, but then, oh yeah, we've got lights under there as well. It's a bit stiff because it's new. Hang on, you might have to hold the camera or pull it out. Wait, that's what she said. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. How cool is this? It's got USB so you can charge your phone and then you can like, I can sit here and have like my laptop on. So yeah, how cool is that? And then you just no, no. no? Do I okay? I pop, I pop that in, and then I push it down. Whew. It will get easier with time, I am sure. We're here in B and Q. Henry's got the hiccups. He's that excited. By the way, this is where we got um, Frank's wallpaper from. If you wanted to know, I don't know if anyone else is obsessed with dogs as we are. If you want to dedicate a room to dogs like we have, that is not pooch. No, that is not pooch. Well, this is what it's called. It's pooch, it's £12 a roll. You paste the wall, it's quite easy to apply. You should be fine. But that, my friend, is not, not pooch. pooch. 
<sighs> travesty, absolute travesty. Right. You do look at some of these wallpapers and think, who the bloody hell puts this on their wall? Do you know what I mean? Who's that? Kelly. Kelly. Who? Kelly Hoffman. Who's that? I don't know, it says a name right next to it, doesn't it? Oh, that is the dream, isn't it? Having your uh, yeah. face on some wallpaper. Face paper. Face paper. Paper your face. What do you mean? You're, you're on a wallpaper. What do you mean I'm on a... Oh, here we go. What, Chewbacca? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Should we get that for our spare room? No. Just in the light section. Oh, look at that big light bulb, Hen. I'd like that, and then whenever I have an idea, I'd light it up. <laughs> We're now at Tesco. What do you need from here? Um, hair wax. Yeah, there you go. And a candle lighter. There we go, fascinating as always. What is that? Sticky toffee pudding with gold. £3.40. I bet it says it serves like 16. In Henry's book, it serves one. Look at those glittery profiteroles. Wow, fancy, very fancy. Right, so we have just got home from Tesco. Oh, that is not a very flattering line. Let's try and put you somewhere else. Oh, there you go, that's slightly better. We just got home from Tesco and I thought I'd do a Tesco haul because who doesn't love a Tesco haul? Tell me who. Just pop the oven on because I'm going to put tea in the oven in a minute. Right, here we go. So first of all, very interesting purchase. Got some bony bones for Frank. He likes these. So you got them. Next up, slightly more interesting, but a treat for humans, not for dogs, is this hot chocolate fudge cake. Which doing Henry decided he wanted it. This was 275 and it's quite a big cake, which I think is quite the bargain. Serves eight apparently, but I probably guarantee that Henry will probably eat most of this tonight. So yeah, that's what we're having for pudding. Um extension cable with that was from B&Q rather than Tesco. Picked this up because I thought of all the stuff I need to plug into like the Christmas tree and the fairy lights all that kind of stuff. Then we've got some filler for the holes that I was talking about so that's not very interesting. Then we've got some cheese and garlic flatbread. This is only a pound and um, you know when you go to Tesco's or any food establishment and you are hungry and everything looks amazing that was what happened to us tonight. We wouldn't normally buy that, but we were just like, that looks so good. Um, we need a new candle lighter. They said it's £2, and Henry said it looks like a wand from Harry Potter. So that added to the value and excitement of it, because it means that we can like light a candle and pretend we're in Harry Potter, which is always a win-win. Um, more dog treats for Frank, because I was out. Then we got some digestives, McVitie Digestive Caramel. These are bomb.com like literally these are the best digestives you can ever have i would highly recommend these as a biscuit one pound and the diet caramels are never on offer so this is just like big news and we got some hair wax that's his fave if you're ever wondering you probably won't know and then finally the thing that i'm most excited about is these chocolate orange and gingerbread latte candle wax melt so i've got like a, a yankee candle wax melt and i tell you what a wax melt is revolutionary it's so good it's so scented these are two pound fifty each and there's eight and they smell insane apparently these have got up to 120 hours of fragrance let's have a whiff tell you what i'm gonna put a chocolate cake in the fridge and then i'll be back so yeah let's open these up i'm literally so excited by these that sounded amazing two pound fifty is quite good value i thought Oh my god, they smell so good. Mm, they smell so good. Okay, that's chocolate orange. If you're into like sweet stuff and obviously chocolate orange, you need to get them. And then let's smell the gingerbread latte. Oh my god, they smell amazing. Okay, you have to go get these. £2.50. What a bomb. And there we go. That is my little Tesco haul. So now I'm going to cook tea. We're having fish. Henry's going to have fish and chips, and I'm going to have fish and corn on the cob. And then that means that I can chop the cake for pudding. Um, and yeah, then I think what we're going to do is watch I'm a Celebrity and then probably go to bed, which isn't very exciting. I'm not sure if I'll vlog much more of this evening because there's nothing really too exciting about watching telly, is there? You're so cute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're so good, Frank. You make me want to die. <laughs> Look at that nose. Look at that nose. Baby. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, I know that I have like done the worst uh, squirty cream application in the whole wide world, but seriously? Oh yeah. I bet Henry's is going to look much nicer than this pig's ear that I've made. Here he is, Marco Pierre White. <laughs> <laughs> of the squirty cream variety. <laughs> yeah, but look at mine. Yeah, but you're just too, too impatient. <laughs> I thought I'd better end my vlog because it's like half ten and um, Henry's gone to bed and I am just staying up to do a bit of work. I'm going to try and get some blog posts done for next week so it's one less thing to kind of worry about. Um, so yeah, so I'm just doing some work and then I think I'll head to bed probably about 11 so I'll work for half an hour and then go to bed in a bit. But um, I will see you all tomorrow for day two of Vlogmas. And thank you so much for watching and for, I don't know what else, oh, I don't know what I'm going on about. Um, but don't forget to like the video if you did enjoy it and to also subscribe to my channel so you didn't miss any of the other Vlogmas vlogs. And also check out my blog as well because I don't know if I mentioned but I'm doing Vlogmas so I'm vlogging every day as well. So um, I'll leave the link down below so you can go check that out too. But um, I will see you tomorrow for day two of Vlogmas. Um,